Well, this New York-based performer just does it all. Theater, television, movies, music. And we happen to have all the proof you need. Take a look. Tanya Pinkins found success early in her career on daytime television staples as the world turns and all my children. In prime time, she has starred on Army Wives, Gotham, Fear the Walking Dead, and Madam Secretary. Pinkins has also had dozens of recurring and guest roles on some of the hottest dramas and sitcoms. Her enviable theater resume includes nine Broadway productions and a Tony Award win for Jelly's Last Jam. This Chicago-born actress has appeared in several films, but most recently wrote, directed, and starred in her own movie, Red Pill. And she continues to show her range with a stellar performance in the high-profile limited series, Women of the Movement. And that is not all, people, because today through Sunday, she will be in the mix, literally, with a special performance on Little Island. So please give it up for actress, singer, director, writer, painter, filmmaker, and Tony Award winner, Miss Tanya Pinkins! Janika. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. If I like, you're like, you're every woman. It's all in you. Because <laughs> what is it? Because we're hearing Stevie Wonder's "Isn't She Lovely." I'm hearing uh, um, uh, Shaka and Whitney's "Every, every woman, woman." That's right, right. In my head, like seriously. But but before we even get to all all that you're working on and all the greatness that you are. This news about your performance, it's all kinds of music to our ears because you're not just, we're not just having you perform on Little Island, which is a new public park on the Hudson, but the show is conceived and directed by another major force on Broadway like yourself, Miss Tina Landau. What? Yes. And it stars Joshua Henry, Mikkel uh, Kilgore, Shanice Elfie, Renee Ali. I mean, it's an amazing show. It's, all, it's a social justice show. Oh. So you've got singing and storytelling and poetry. I think there's a, a performance of a new poem for June 10th called We Rise. It's an extraordinary show that I got to see for the first time last night. Of course, I was there because Tina Landau asked me and I was like, of course, the venue, the amp on 14th Street is so beautiful. You've oh. got the Hudson and the sun setting behind you as we're performing. It is an evening not to be missed. Listen, we know that. We know as soon as I saw that your name was on that roster, I was like, listen, say no more. Say no more, we will be there. But but it, it's 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 nice that we see your range because you we're talking about this wonderful performance in this lovely setting, but then you are also able to bring us stories that are heart wrenching. Like I saw women of the movement, like listen, I can't I cannot even. I cannot even deal. And um it's one of those things where you watch, you're like, it is so difficult to watch, but it we have to listen and we have to force ourselves to. We have a clip of you in it. We're gonna take okay. a look and then we'll discuss. Okay. That woman, those monsters, they poisoned the jury. Don't let them get inside your head, too. But I can't get them out. I... You got to try because, because there are things we'll never know. Listen, you, Adrian Warren, like... Uh, Talk about power, two power women delivering like a powerful story. The Emmett Till story is just, I can't, yeah, like, I can't, it, it was one of the hardest things for me to watch in my entire life. So, as a viewer, yes. heart wrenching. As a performer who is there bringing light to this dark story, what, what is it like for you? It was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life because you have such a responsibility when you're telling history. And we shot the film in Mississippi where it happened. And that was so eye-opening for me to realize that I live in New York City, but America is not like New York City. And the way people are living down there, sometimes it's like they're just two steps out of slavery. Wow. And, and for someone like you, taking on a challenge is a nothing at all. Like, seriously. Because you, you recently wrote, directed, appeared in your film Red Pill, and you talked about it during your last visit, and you even have an audio book out about the making of the film. 
Yes, and I have a game. You can play the Red Pill game wow. on the Red Pill website where you can go in and see if you would be able to survive better than the characters do in the movie. Oh, my gosh. L listen, so now knowing, I was going to say, knowing what it takes to write, direct, and star in your own movie, I was going to ask you if you would ever be doing that anytime soon. But then I hear, of course, because you never stop working, that you're currently filming the, a documentary about your life and traveling the world for it. Yeah, really looking at the stolen history for us as African Americans. You have a connection to your history from Nigeria, but I do not. I just came back from Egypt and Sudan where I'm seeing how much was erased, how much was rewritten. And so I wanted to write a, uh, a, do a documentary about that because I'm a civil rights baby. I'm the first kid to go to school after civil rights legislation. And though I went to interracial schools and learned a lot, there's so much I did not learn. So I'm going to the Louvre to do some shooting. Wow. Um, I have an amazing PhD from Sudan in the Kushite dynasty, which is the 25th uh, Egyptian dynasty. And we're gonna connect some of that history. Oh my goodness. Listen, how big is your luggage? Because you know I can roll up. I'm very, f you can just roll me up like a towel <laughs> and pack me up. Come on. I'm serious. Come on. We can eat some, some croissants and some hot chocolate. Listen, c'est la vie. Oui, oui. <laughs> I will be, let's, beware what you tell me to do because I will do it. And by the <laughs> way, you're so busy. I'm going to say the Tonys just happened over the weekend. We saw you and Adrian Warren working on um, Women of the Movement. So, like, any, any talks of getting back to Broadway? Will I get to see you here or do I have to wait to go to the Louvre with you? Uh, come to the Louvre with me because we have a great time in Paris. You know, someone actually just offered me a play here in New York. What? We'll see. We'll, we'll be talking later today. Okay. Nice. All right. So after you talk to them and you confirm it, you can come back on the show and we'll chit chat about it. Promise? Absolutely. For now, Absolutely. we're, we're, we're going to be looking forward to your performance. Everyone at home, do not forget the talented Miss Pinkins will be performing tonight through Sunday at Little Island's The Big Mix. Performances start at 8 p.m. and tickets are available at littleisland.org. So you better check it out. You do not want to miss this. Don't say I didn't tell you. Miss Pinkins, I am not worthy. I'm not worthy. Oh, Janika, you are worthy. more than worthy. You were oh. born worthy, and I, I look Thank forward you. to meeting you. I love you. you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.